It's Christmas week. No better time to open up the Christmas edition of The Fiend. Welcome everyone, Kyle here and welcome back to the channel today. We got something special, a little heavy metal punk rock unboxing. We're unboxing the Christmas edition of the Misfits Fiend mascot in his holiday Santa regalia, we'll call it. And for all your NECA needs, including this one, check out Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. I am very excited to get this figure, as you guys know, I love my heavy metal and my punk rock. Obviously, Glenn Danzig era of the Misfits is near and dear to my heart. One of my favorite bands of all time. I finally got to see Glenn Danzig with the Misfits full-on reunion. Not just Glenn and Doyle, but the full-on band reunion. Uh, gosh, I don't know. Time is weird lately. With uh, COVID and everything, I can't remember. It was either a year ago or two years ago. I went to Chicago. Uh, I believe it was the Allstate Arena, and I saw that show, uh, the reunion tour. It was an amazing show, kind of. It was cool to see them all there. It was cool to hear all the songs, all the hits, all the songs we'd want to hear. However, Glenn Danzig's voice uh, has really seen better days, unfortunately. I'm a huge Glenn fan. I like Glenn's solo albums. I like Sam Hain. I like all of his other stuff. But man, his voice was awfully shot that night. So that was a little disappointing, but it was still cool to be there. Still cool to see it. And bringing it back to the toys with the Misfits, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, the Fiend, the original Fiend, I like to say, uh, is the mascot here. And NECA is no stranger to the Fiend figures. We did have a red cloak regular edition and a black cloak regular edition in the past via NECA. I actually had both of those uh, figures. You know, they were 25 bucks or whatever back in the day. And then somehow they went crazy, like a lot of NECA items do over time. This one included. I do think this will be a hot one uh, a couple years from now. Uh, those two I ended up flipping and selling. I just couldn't pass them up. I think I sold both of them for $250. So I made a $200 profit. Um, they fit in my collection but didn't fit in my collection at the time. Now, like a lot of things, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I need to get those back. I don't know. I've done that way too many times. I'm trying to hold out and not get those back, but you never know. But I have heard rumors of NECA doing a re-release of those. So we'll see what happens. I might play a little bit more of a long game. Uh, but this one, there was no doubt in my mind I was picking this one up. This is going to grow great every single year in my holiday decorations. I'm going to hide this. You guys, you know, I got a huge collection in my basement. I got my collection everywhere. But the majority of my house, all the, you know, the bedrooms, the bathrooms, the living room, the formal living room, the formal dining room, uh, all that kind of stuff, my wife controls. But one of my favorite things of the year is every Christmas, I hide stuff throughout the house. She loves to go crazy with like three or four different Christmas trees throughout the house. Stuff like that. Well, I like to hide some of these things. Every year I put the gremlins, the Christmas gremlins out, and I put them in a different spot, hoping she doesn't notice and see how long it takes. This one will be added to the yearly tradition. I'm going to hide this somewhere in the house amidst all of her Christmas decorations and see if she can find where it is. So uh, a little tip there. I know she's not watching the video. She, she would never watch this video. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. But um, here it is. Let's open it up. Let's talk about it. Let's look at it. Little small packaging. I do appreciate this. As you guys know, some of the NECA figures get the big bubble or the really big box. This is medium sized. Actually pretty small for a NECA figure, which is great for us inbox collectors that collect this because how much space do you got? The tighter the packaging, the better if you ask me. You guys leave me a comment on that. Uh, are you in the same wavelength? I want smaller, tighter packaging so I can have more on display. That's just me maybe, but some people, maybe they like the bigger package. I don't know. But there he is. I love that this comes with two heads. The head that is on the Fiend right now is kind of the artwork edition, where the head to the side is more based on that Marilyn Monroe movie. Uh, I forget what it was called back in the day, but it's more of the real, if you want to call it real, face uh, compared to the cartoon face. Obviously, the Santa outfit is, is there, and there it is. Uh, very, very cool logo and artwork down below. Uh, you know, the, the Misfits, maybe two, three years ago, came out with a holiday EP. I'd recommend checking that one out. I believe they do the Grinch song and a few other things. Uh, kind of hokey if you're way back old school Misfits fan, but I love everything Misfits for the most part. Um, but there it is. There's the front. Very cool. Got the window packaging. Got the J-hook up top so you can hang it very easily. Very top of the package. You got Misfits. 
A little glamour shot on the side and the same glamour shot on the other side. And then on the bottom, we got a little bit of legal stuff. UPC, all that fun stuff. Uh, let's read the back. I'll show you the back first. There it is, the Misfits. Very cool, very cool figure photography with these things here. Let's read the back, see what it says. The Fiend is one of the most recognized music mascots of all time. And I think we'd all agree on that. I don't know how many times I've been at the mall with my wife and kids. And I'm like, hey, dude, man, yeah, the Misfits. And the guy has no idea what I'm talking about. Drives me absolutely nuts. Only thing that drives me more crazy is those people that are wearing Motorhead shirts that don't know anything besides the Ace of Spades. I just want to bang my head on the wall, being the hardcore Motorhead guy I am. Uh, but where were we here? Uh, we are proud to present this special holiday-themed exclusive based on the classic artwork and imagery of the legendary punk band, The Misfits. The Fiend comes complete with swappable head and hands so that you can create his classic look or his illustrated appearance in the Basil Gogo's artwork. So there you go. Very cool. Now, I should mention, you know, especially in the punk rock world, this is the definition of sellout. Uh, people would probably, you know, I'm sure there's some people on Misfit Facebook groups and stuff like that that are complaining all about this figure. Oh my gosh, the Misfits continue to sell out, continue blah, blah, blah. And I do understand that a little bit. Uh, I've had so many bands I've been a fan of for so long that, you know, end up being huge and big. And it's just the specialness kind of wears off. It's, it's a weird, weird thing. It's like you want to keep them small and just in your own little world. But who's to fault them? You know, you want to make as much money as you can. Think about you guys at your day job, me at my day job. I want to get paid as much money as I possibly can. The Misfits, bands out there, they're no different. We have to just take a giant step back um, every once in a while. So there's my little uh, discussion on selling out. So there it is. Very cool winter scene in the back. Very cool. Little, little uh, trees with some snowfall and stuff. That might be use, useful for a diorama in the future. I probably will save this box. So I won't give it the real see you later. I'll give it the old mm, yeah, see you later. All right. Here's the old plastic prison. There it is. Look at that. Very cool. Extra set of hands, extra head. He's got the Christmas sack. Looks like we're launched in. Oh, he's got the little uh, Celica or Jellica packet. Silica. Celica. Silica? Just got to make sure my boy Lemmy, he doesn't get a hold of that and eats it. Because that would be it for him. I, is so I hear. You're not supposed to eat those. Let me open him up. You know, I do. I hate. We hate it when figures are locked in like this. But truly, we appreciate it because it keeps them safe. Keeps them in good condition. All that kind of fun stuff. Oh, his feet are still locked in. All kinds of stuff going on here. The head, the extra set of hands. Oh, this is just opening this up is making me itchy for the previous versions that I sold. Uh, it'd be cool to get a display of all the uh, see you later's, all the different misfits figures. I'd be okay with that. Very cool soft goods on here, posability. Um, Interesting. I was going to say the head is a little bit bigger than maybe it should be. There's a little bit of wire in the collar, which is cool. So you can do some movement. You can do some adjusting. There it is. It's funny is this figure, I don't know if it's supposed to be male or female. I guess I always assume the Misfits logo and uh, the band leader is a male. But this figure feels somewhat female. Um, a very skinny body. I guess it's a very skinny guy inside the costume. I don't know. Um, but very cool. He got the Santa outfit. Just pure black. Nothing at all inside. Underneath the Santa outfit, it's just a black body. So no uh, being able to remove this and have something else. That would have been a nice feature. Obviously, that would have taken probably the price up on this figure. Now, the hat is removable. That is very cool. You know, cool thing about this hat, you can put this on your WWE Elites. You can put this on all kinds of stuff. Uh, so that is very cool for uh, people that are into, you know, figure photography and moving things around. Um, no foot holes on this one, so there's no ringside stand or any kind of stand that's going to work with this figure. Uh, so there's just a little FYI there. Um, for those of you guys that are always inquisitive about the stands, uh, this is uh, the Santa sack, I guess you would call it. It's got wire in it, so that is very cool as well. Makes it you know bigger, puffed out, skinnier. You can kind of choose your own adventure, as we like to say. So I do like that. I would like it if you could open this up and you could store the hands and the extra head inside here. I think that would be a, a pro tip. Once again, a lot like WWE Elite La Robes, tied very nicely. You untie this, you'll probably never get this tied correctly once again. Um, but there it is. 
Uh, I like this figure. No brainer. Christmas. We don't get a ton of Christmas figures. We got the Star Wars Christmas figures. We've gotten some Christmas gremlins. And now we got the Fiend. So we did get a few things uh, this year. So I'm, I am cool with that. I don't want a million different Christmas items. But if I could get one or two new Christmas themed figures every single year, it'd be great in my Christmas themed display as like I talked about at the beginning of the episode here. I do really like the attention to detail on this one. As we said, we have the kind of comic book artwork version of the head, and then you also have the traditional Fiend uh, head. The cool thing is the hands are, are the same. So you get the traditional hands, or you also have the uh, comic book hands. So that is really good attention to detail. Uh, and you can choose which Fiend do you like better. For me, it's always going to be the original. I'm not a big fan of that uh, comic book era Fiend um, that was in some of the later albums. But i uh, got to go original on that one for me. So there you have it. Let's get, I'll get the glamour shots out there. We'll take this in all different directions and take a quick look at him. But a must have for, you know, 24 bucks, 25 bucks, maybe up to 30, depending on your local uh, stores. I got this at a local comic book store. store. Um, but you can get this on Big Bad Toy Store. I did see that up for a uh, sale on there. So I definitely recommend picking this guy up. Um, so there you have it. For The Fiend, I'm Kyle. Hopefully everybody has a good Christmas. I'll see you guys all real soon.